The disciplines of agile are on the screen here. These are the agile disciplines. They come from a, a, a process that was called extreme programming from long in the past. Extreme programming was one of the agile methods. There have been several over the years. Scrum is another, feature-driven development is another, Crystal is another, DSDM is another. There's a whole bunch of them. But the best defined is extreme programming. It's the one that defined all of the different parts of an agile project. The green outer ring, those are the business-facing practices. And that's Scrum. The green ring is Scrum. Scrum, as an agile process, is an, a business-facing process. It doesn't deal with the internals much. The red inner circle, that's the engineering practices, the programmer-specific practices. And the blue stuff in the middle, those are the team practices. That's how a team behaves. Those are the disciplines used by a team. Scrum is just that outer ring. Scrum, without the inner rings, has a name. It's called flaccid scrum. Scrum that fails. And what are the symptoms of flaccid scrum? Flaccid scrum starts to work initially, just fine. You go through a few sprints, everything seems to be fine, the team is making good decisions, there's good communication with the product owners and so on, everything's going along fine. And then you start to see the team slow down. And the team, the team gets slower and slower and slower with time. Why does this happen? Because they're not practicing the engineering practices in the middle. The engineering practices in the middle are the things that keep the, the architecture and the design and the code clean. And without that, Scrum will slow down and grind to a halt. It turns out that Scrum is a really efficient way of making a mess really fast. Unless you augment it with the engineering practices in the middle. Now this has been known for 15 years. The name flaccid Scrum was invented by Martin Fowler 15 years ago. It's been a well-known term. Most Scrum teams nowadays adopt the engineering practices. Some don't, and that's a problem. 